Okay, welcome back to the latest Genocide Dolphins development video. Oh, it looks like Bishop Sticks is stealing the limelight for quite a few videos now, but when I went off into making the sub games, I thought, why not uh, actually finish one? And I recently came to the conclusion that I should just finish some of these sub games because they're really good and get them out on Steam or something in order to test the waters and learn how. Uh, these things go and hopefully fund the game if I can sell any so that's me opening a beer it's Friday night and I've just finished well, a long day of working on this um, so here I'm going to showcase three different levels but I'm just showcasing them using the introductions that I've made for them and I've just finished seconds ago so um, well I'll just show it first and then I'll talk about it as we go so this is um, the first one, it's called Whip Monday. All the levels are based on uh, UK religious holidays, actually. Um, so this is Whip Monday for now. This level is set in a cathedral. As you can see, I've got some weird and wonderful dudes um, much improved from the last time. This guy's got like smoke coming off him and stuff. The distortion is obviously deliberate because I wanted to make it look like old VHS style. This guy's got like an arm missing look and he's got loads of like wires coming out and spikes. You know, these are like kind of experiments people have made or something. This guy's like a cool elephant dude, he's locked away. And there's another guy next door who's locked away who is toilet head. <coughs> And you can see a pistol behind him. In fact, there's an AK-47 behind the other guy. Um, this guy's pretty disturbing. And that's the new uh, splash screen that I've designed myself. Quite proud of that. <clears throat> now you end up on the menu screen. <coughs> and this shows you the game. The, the, the levels in the game, the Bishop Sticks Holy Week will be Whip Monday, Shrove Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday and Mothering Sunday. As you can see I'm going for the uh, the religious angle on all of this and that's meant to be like a copy of the Bible or something uh, with a red religious bookmark on and you can see in the background it's actually in a cathedral. So you can move this little dude up and down here to select each level and you can see how it lights up when you go over them but uh, one of the cool things I've done is uh, this, what's this, I'm very impressed by this so you can actually get off the uh, menu that's a bishop there, I don't know if you can tell but I had him custom made many years ago Didn't, and I'm finally using him even though it doesn't look so good there but his skeletons are all, his, his bones are messed up so I can't use him as a proper enemy he was supposed to be the enemy in this game well, I'm going to have a bigger cathedral, I think, but look, you can jump around, you can leave, you can jump, you can even hit things. So I'm thinking, actually, <clears throat> the when you finish all the levels, you'll be able to, you'll, you'll be stuck in the um, <clears throat> cathedral until you finish all the levels, but it'll be much bigger, so you won't be able to go outside. And maybe the final, final, final level uh, will be you know, a 2D fight with a boss, or a 2D level. So again, it's a it's a sub-game, within a sub-game, within a sub-game. And I like that a lot. <clears throat> and you can jump back on, like that. So we looked at uh, Whip Monday. <clears throat> I'm going to stop this and run Shrove Tuesday, because in fact, the... Uh, the intros don't play when you start the level, they, they play at the beginning of the game, or do they? I don't know, I've been thinking too long. But uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, this is Shrove Tuesday, and just in case it looks low uh, frame rate or something on YouTube, it isn't, it's actually running really nicely, but uh, I'm not sure how it'll turn out, but let's have a look at a second one. And it's the same idea. Uh, each time you complete a level, you'll unlock a new one of these. Um, possibly it'll play 
it'll randomly pick from the ones you've got when you load the game or possibly it'll just play before the level and you can you know watch it if you want or skip it so uh, that was the uh, cathedral the last level well this one is um, a hospital is it a hospital or an asylum yeah it's an asylum check this out though now they all start with this guy and that's a reference to GD if you might recognize the mask in fact uh, from Epoch <laughs> he's pretty cool isn't he well he was in the other level as well some of them are appeared some of them are not I'm not sure yet this guy's cool look at that he's got a jack in the box for the head and a weird arm that moves around like that and this one's like a creepy little baby it's hard to see but it's there um, inside a massive mock body a very manhunt inspired that one and this guy is the last one before the end of the intro oh no I forgot there's this guy too again he's in the original level but uh, he looks pretty badass and then of course uh, back to the menu which is this thing I still love that now I'm going to show you Ash Wednesday and this is the one I've been demonstrating in the past actually so you might have already seen it but uh, I'm going to pause it and I've improved it anyway so I'll be back in a sec okay Ash Wednesday is loaded um, let's have a look at it again it starts with this dude This is starting to look old school compared to the other two levels. I just put those demos, those intros together today. I like him though. He's carrying a meat cleaver. This shot could be possibly a bit more exciting. Uh, it's funny how you think things should be improved when you, you thought they were great just a day ago. Um, but I'm still very happy with it. These are all work in progress, but I hope we get this out before Christmas. Now he's badass. I moved him. If you might remember, he was somewhere else, but I moved him because he was too hard. And this sort of gimp guy with a long nose. He's very disturbing, actually. <coughs> so they are the... Uh, three intros I've done. I'll just play each level briefly so you can see uh, what they're like and they're, they're still work in progress, still buggy etc etc etc. Some of the people can't hit me, some of the people I can't hit but you know it's all gonna get fixed and some of the styles like this one was like all yellow, uh, all white and that in the past but I've, I've messed it up but yeah, I'll get back to that. So you may remember this level if you've been watching for a long time this is the original Bishop Sticks level, this is the cathedral um, there's a lot more people in it and there's some bugs in this I think where like if I pick up the oh no that's fixed okay thought it was going to make a noise so it shouldn't make a noise when I walk into the wall oh it did, see there's a bug Ooh. so that, whoa toilet man's after me, there's loads of people after me run like I've said in the past, it's meant to be stealth, so I should actually put the broken bottle in here, which I have on uh, on the Wednesday, on the third level. Shit! And I should explode when I die. I'm not sure if it works in this build. And there's a bit of that too. Chanting. And some of these people won't... Ow! Am I out of bullets? I... That's not right. Way I did shatter, although it didn't play the uh, shatter noise, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, don't know why the gun ran out of bullets there, actually. But that wasn't really a great way to play it, but as you can see in the top left, it says you can start again with zero or go back to the main menu, so if I just press zero, I'm just going to do some mad running around, see if I can get the AK-47. 
and the guys who are locked in those rooms at the end, they just come out through the walls, so uh, that's a bug, obviously. See, the key is right here, but that guy turns around. He just gets seen by um, about now, that guy in the distance, he'll recognize me, but I've got the key now, so if I can, ah, if I can get away and hide, if you go through one shadow and then the second one, Oh god, they're all after me because I was running. I forgot running uh, <laughs> makes them detect you, doesn't it? Uh, you might notice. Is it working? Uh, when I run, the radar on the bottom right flashes red. Uh, a lot of these mechanics. Oh, you're still after me! A lot of these mechanics are copied directly from Manhunt because it's my main inspiration for this game. So you can't see me because I'm in a second shadow. Has he seen me? Yep. Oh! Shattered. Uh, I'll try that again. I'm not actually uh, great at this yet, but like I say, the weapons are wrong. You, you should have something stealthy that you can get quite easily to kill them rather than uh, all this still coming together. Blah, blah, blah. You can get health. And when you hit someone with the baseball bat, they see me. The um, the noise of hitting them brings the other people. But if you hit someone with the broken bottle, it doesn't. And I need to introduce a lot more weapons. Whoa, shit. Run away. And like I say, these, these people have actually been optimized for the intros rather than actual gameplay. Ah! But uh, that's going to have to be a process that is goes hand in hand. Because I really want the intros to be good, and I really don't want to have to waste lots of time, you know, writing scripts for just the intro and then making it different for uh, play and things like that. So they'll work together, they'll work well. I uh, just need a few more uh, long sessions. Shit! Alright, they're all dead. So now I can get the uh, key, which opens the left side. And I presume, is he still in there? Yes, he is. Oh! But the bug just allowed him to leave straight away. And him too. Yeah, alright. Good, I got them all. It takes a lot of timing and you die far too easy now. Let me just check the bullets in this pistol first as well. Yep. Oh, you know why? Because I made the player a prefab, and I've reused him in this. Is that bishop actually going to appear? And that means that the weapon restrictions from my other stuff applies. With that, you should push it normally properly, but if you push it, you can get a key, um, which allows you to come in here. And obviously, normally, you'd come in here, and that elephant dude would be waiting for you. And so you'd have to run away and stuff like that. But this is the AK-47, which is cool. Again, it will have the bullet restrictions, I guess. God, oh, that's really annoying. I thought I was being smart, but then I remembered uh, the Resident Evil curse of looking for bullets all the time. All right, that is uh, Whip Monday, the first level. I think it's the first level so far. I'm not sure. Maybe it's too hard. I need to work out all the difficulty curves and things like that. But I'm going to pause it and load... Shrove Tuesday, which is what we call, which is Pancake Day, I believe, maybe in America, they call it Fat Tuesday or something. Anyway, I'll be back. So we're back on the uh, menu screen. I can go down to Shrove Tuesday, press space. And on the left of that book, it will show information about um, the level, the score you've achieved in the past, and maybe a button to let you watch the intro. And it's screenshot of the level and some information. Now this one, whoa, I haven't even tested it to be honest since I 
put all these people in and it's running very slow even on on this PC so uh, <clears throat> it's clearly not going to be a good demo but I'll just try and run anyway and I have shown videos of this in the past even in VR so if you're really interested check them out on the channel look for Bishop Sticks you can see the red thing flashing when I run on the radar there's nowhere to hide really um, and it's making all the people really incredibly quick untested stuff I just uh, wanted to make a demo huh? oh I'm dead <laughs> whoa lads where are you all there's a gun round here somewhere in here is it oh they're just going to come straight in aren't they see I'm in the shadow there you can see the edge next to my foot so he doesn't know I'm actually there unless he stumbles in there and he can't do that or he just jerks around in the wall there there is an upstairs to this one and if you remember <coughs> in the past I don't know if you remember or if you've seen it but there is also a lift that takes you down to a mall where some action happens come on then shatter me son look at he's got a massive sword too in the hand that he doesn't use currently uh, there it is looks cool that sword an Indian uh, dagger or something Hello, mate. You're pretty disgusting, aren't you? There's a baseball bat just floating in the sky there. Okay, that was uh, that level. <coughs> Once I work out the gameplay, the demos will be better. Also, if you notice that chanting plays randomly at various uh, pitches. So if I press 1, I go back to the menu, then I'll be able to play the last level. Uh, the, the last one that I have developed which is Ash Wednesday this is the one I've demonstrated most so I won't dwell on it too long just wanted to show the progress update and if you come here looking for genocide dolphins and you're like what the hell is this bishop sticks well stay tuned it's still getting made and this is definitely part of genocide dolphins when you um, wake up after a crazy bender in genocide dolphins like a crazy bender that leaves you with the worst hangover ever you wake up and there are there is a fresh Bishop Sticks token available and that allows you to play each of these levels. So there'll be seven major benders you have to go on and every time you do you'll get one of these levels to play at the arcades. And there's cockroaches and uh, rats and stuff in this level now. Um, couldn't have said it better myself mate, there's the rat. So this is the broken bottle I was talking about, which is a stealth weapon, which makes doesn't make any noise unless you hit the wall. And uh, you see the radar flashing, very manhunt. So if I run, they hear me. If I hit the wall like this, they hear me. But if I just stab someone in the back with it, it should be a pretty clean and quiet kill. And I need to work on some sort of religious executions. Come on, boys, you haven't got very good eyesight, have you? If, as soon as I start running, though. Now, if I go up here, there's tons of guys. Tons of new people. There's that creepy monster. And I think my ridiculous amount of bullets situation is going to affect me here, but let's see if I can do something. Oh, I missed them all. Oh, I can't kill the creepy guy yet. I don't think I've set it up so that he, he can actually take a hit. Whoa. It's like playing uh, British Bulldog or something. And this sniper only has two bullets as well. But uh, I've, I've shown this quite a lot, actually. So there's probably 
no need to uh, demo this level properly so uh, looks like we're almost done anyway and we're at the 20 minute mark and I'm very uh, proud and happy watch yeah shattered and the sound worked it's a bit of a jerk there because I think it looks well it does look through all of the children for the uh, scripts that I have for exploding him which is inefficient I need to do that uh, at the beginning um, I'll have one more run like a crazy madman and then uh, this video will be over and hopefully like I said this will be out uh, before Christmas I always say that but I, I always pick ambitious projects too far too ambitious and I always sidetrack myself with something like this too um, even my brother was saying today are you doing it again man you've been doing this since you were a kid you start a game and then you go off on another game and you give up on it yeah, of course, all developers give up on many, many, many games. But there is no chance in hell I'm giving up on Genesis Dolphins. That game has just totally been the greatest thing I've ever developed. And it will be absolutely incredible. And like I say, this is Genesis Dolphins. This is just a sub-part of it that I want to make to make the game even more incredible. And possibly help myself develop, uh, get funding, well, fund myself, right? Oh, they've got some bodies in here now, look, as well. You see there's like a body bag there covered in blood and stuff. Oh, shit! Oh! You can see there's still some problems, well, with the sinking of the sound and there's no blood coming out of his head there either. Yeah, that looks a cool model, that. Look at that. Oops. Uh, there is a bug still with, related to that. Oh! Yeah, I don't know why it's hitting multiple times like that. You might have noticed the radar too, uh, which is brand new, and it works perfectly on just with one enemy, but when I've got loads on, it's not working right now because I had it rotating based on the enemy but I'll fix it it's quite complex actually to fix certain things and they don't show if they're upstairs for example oh yeah, my gore is gone. Can't kill him, but he can't kill me either, so I'm alright there. Uh, you're an ugly bugger though, isn't he? And there, there should be the guy that may have been on the, uh, well he was on the intro, uh, with glasses on. Blue glowing glasses. Kill me! Come on then, kill me! Oh, some bullets. See all the blood on the walls. I've got body bags in various rooms actually where um, where the blood is. And I've got these operating tables with like more body bags on. There's a bug there. When you look up, it's something to do with the radar camera. Someone can see me. Oh, it's that creepy guy. Oh, he's aware anyway. That's why my thing is red and, and I can hear like actually speeds up the music two times over when or more when someone sees you huh? shit, you must be another one I can't get oh this is the butcher guy I was on about, check this guy out he's cool isn't he? oh! he can kill me how? I don't even know, I just gave him that weapon like yesterday, I haven't even put it in his hand properly or today I didn't expect it to kill me but if you look there you can see the body bag I was talking about on that it's hard because there's some knob in front of me, but there's an operating bed or something with a with a body bag covered in uh, blood, you know. And you can still see the particles of me floating around. Okay, that was the latest update to Genocide Dolphins, which is technically just a Bishop Sticks update. And expect more on this game until I finish it. Of course, depending on boredom and stuff, I will swap back to Bishop Stick uh, to GD, the main game, and maybe even other sub games. But I have to do what I feel like when I feel like it in order to be hyper productive. 
and that's the only way I want it. Hyper productive, hyper productivity. Sounds like a game in itself. Okay, thank you for watching.